my god! Hey booktube, it's Katie Colson, back at it again with another moving blog, and this one is my favorite number, number eight, which is hilarious because I know the content you've all been wanting to see is me organizing my bookshelf. And that's perfect news because in vlog number eight, you're going to be seeing that. Now I will tell you, I impulsively decide to organize my bookshelf because the plan had been that I was going to do a whole separate video for organizing and creating my dream bookshelf. Did it end up happening? No. It's part of the series. Listen, I got impulsive. I couldn't wait. Had to set it up. Had to do it. Took me like freaking four hours. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. I'm not bitter. I'm not anything. I'm totally fine with it. Okay. So you're going to see that in this video. And not only than that, I also started reading Jade City, which is very exciting. That is another book that people have really been wanting me to read. So you're going to get to see content of that in this video as well. So I'm sure that you just want me to stop talking right now because you want to see this bookshelf content. So I'm going to let you get right into the video. Hello, new day realized that I feel like I've been reading and not really talking about it that much. And I completely forgot to tell you that I have soft DNF'd Golden Sun, which is the second in the Red Rising trilogy, because I'm just like not able to do fantasy right now, which is funny because I also started Jade City, which is probably not a good idea. Jade City by Fonda Lee, but I'm liking it way more than Red Rising, which Again, I cannot tell if it is a product of my mental state and environment and like what I'm doing right now or if it's just not my thing. I really don't know. I'm not going to get rid of them or anything. Like I'm going to keep them and um, try to read them again later in the month. But I am on chapter 20 of Jade War or Jade City, sorry. And really liking it. But again, like I could be liking it even more if I was able to wrap my brain around everything that was going on in the book. But there are a lot of characters and I am thinking of so many other things while I'm listening to it. So I'm not getting the full experience that I normally do out of an audiobook. But I'm still really liking it. Like, it's good. But the kind of book I should be reading, which I wish I had more of these... Um, audiobooks is I listen to in one sitting front to back. I listened to the entirety of The Heart Principle by Helen Huang and loved it. Loved it. Loved it. It was so, like, that's the kind of audiobook I need to be listening to right now. I, I got everything. Nothing was missed. I understood everything. I, I like experienced everything. It was so good. Um, four to five stars. It was fantastic. I love the, um, autism representation. It was so good. Like that's something that Helen Huang does really well is romances where you just fall in love with the characters because they're so realistic and you're like even if they're like really beautiful you're like yeah but this is a realistic person like they have problems they have strengths they have weaknesses they have likes dislikes it's not just oh my god yeah I'm into this sexy thing it's like I love octopuses or octopi which was something that the character really liked I was like what and it's not like a I'm so quirky it's like yeah I just think they're really cool I was like that's dope I really like that. I like that. And also, um, it did make me tear up. I know y'all all said it would, but it did make me tear up. There was, it's, I don't want to say why, but um, because my parents had just been here and just left, if you've read the book, I don't know. That was just really sad. That was really sad. It made me cry a little bit. But anyway, um, yesterday I was, I'm going to flip you around. I did a lot of stuff in here. The reason all this is out here is because I am wanting to put like medicine stuff in here and to do that before I had them written on the top. But now when they go in there, I'm going to need them written on the side. So I'm thinking I am going to take all the stickers off and clean all the containers and then relabel them. That is the goal. And I cleaned everything here. I need to put up my... Sorry, my camera cut off. Um, I need to put a shower curtain here, but I have to put new holes in it because it doesn't completely go across this rod. But oh my God, look at the absolute satisfaction. This is what Grace does. She has her um, paper towels and stuff back there because it's easier to grab. There's nothing behind these. It's just blank, but I could presumably put something back there if I wanted to. So what it is is like face wipes. This is like... Um, dirty like if I need to clean something towels for the bath and um uh wash towels and like wash towels for the kitchen anyway blah 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 um this I'm going to Ikea today to get two more bins to put the stuff that's in there in those bins 
if anybody has vertigo watching these videos, you're gonna be like, Katie, the fuck? Um, but in here I have like pads and uh, sunscreen. And then in this one, I have like uh, extra vitamins and glucose tablets, tissues. This is all hair products. This is like tall, like things that wouldn't fit anywhere else. And then pads and scrunchies. And then down here is cleaning supplies. Um, the back is backup cleaning supplies and the front is like single stuff. And then we have my makeup in this one. This drawer is kind of jankety, which scares me, but whatever. And then more like, um, this is like my brushes. And then this is all stuff that I use every day. And then my uh, glasses back there. And then I put the toilet paper here because the toilet is right there and I thought you know when when shit goes awry you know and you need to grab one and then I have my makeup palettes and this is like the coolest container I'm obsessed I got this at TJ Maxx or maybe I got it at Home Goods or something I don't know but it's just like a lot of little things a little container and then really tall things that are too heavy to go and that other bin are there and something that I need to do is I need to put I bought like a bunch of little magnets to go on the side sides of each of the cabinets so that they'll close because right now you can tell like that doesn't close and that's not it sis that's not it I don't like that so I need to do that today I need to take a bunch of stuff to the garbage I need to Grace and I are going to do a return to Ikea I'm going to buy two more bins I'm also thinking I'm going to buy another one of those floor lamps because I need it to be bright as shit like I, like this like you see this that's bright that that is bright. That's right. Love that. But here, dim, depressing. I don't like that. So I'm going to buy another one of the floor mat, floor lamps, two more bins. And then I want to get, um, this stuff. I don't know what you call it. I think this is actually technically a rug mat, but this stuff to go inside my drawers so they don't like freaking slip slide all around. <sighs> what else am I doing today? I might go by Goodwill. I need to go by my P.O. box. Yeah, that is, that's it for the update. Well, that certainly took way longer than I was anticipating. Like, I always forget how long it takes to return stuff at Ikea. Like, I've never had a bad experience with someone that works at Ikea. They're all very nice. But, oh my God, is it glacially slow to make a return. And I mean, like, glacially. I was there for 40 minutes in the return line. What? Like, mm. Listen. Is it even worth it? I don't know. Uh, but I did all those returns and then I, it takes forever to go through Ikea because you have to like go through the entire store to get to the checkout, like fucking crazy. And then I also like went through 
one lap at the store and then had to go back and do a little bit of it again because I couldn't find the Ikea 365 containers. I never ended up finding them and didn't feel like asking anybody to help me. So I didn't end up getting anything like that, but I did get two of the like larger bins to put in my bathroom and then another floor lamp. And after buying those, I still had money that I got back from the return. So that's nice. And I'm going to right now try to go and find like a home goods or a target because I wanted to get drawer liners and Ikea doesn't sell them or they don't sell the ones that you can like cut down to make a specific size. So I am going to do that and I need to look at, I'm sorry if I keep, you keep getting lower and lower. Oh my God. It's because people keep walking by my car and they're like staring at me. Um, I want to look at trash cans as well. Uh, because I don't want to just keep using a garbage bag on the floor, you know? Uh, but anyway, that is the plan, Stan. Listen, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I had plans, okay? That like tomorrow I was gonna put on my makeup. It was gonna be like natural lighting. We were gonna have a whole moment. I was gonna set up my camera and everything. No, I have the itch. I need to scratch. I have the itch. I need to do this. So I'm going to, at the very least, unbox all of these books. Let me show you what we're working with. So this is all the boxes of books. They're very heavy very heavy. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, but this is all full of books. So I'm going to unbox them. And then this is the bookshelf. Are you kidding me? Like if you haven't already seen my dad build these in my vlog, this is insane. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. My dad is like, he went to school for architecture and he is amazing. So I don't have a plan necessarily yet. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and fill, um, the two shelves that are my height. Like, let me see where that would be. So I'm going to see about doing like maybe these three in this corner kind of because that will be where I'll be filming. And then I might put other stuff on the bottom. I really have no idea. Like I, I, have, I did not go into this with any sort of plan on where I was going to put the books. And I'm very indecisive about shit like this. So what I did was made myself a margarita because I'm going to need it, even though it's only 5 p.m. And I went over to Grace's house and was like, please help me carry my books. So she came over. God bless her. She's the best friend in the world. Um, she helped me carry my books upstairs. And I said, okay, now go home because I need to do my bookshelf. And she said, righto. <laughs> bye bye. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be unboxing them. And while I do that, I am listening to the audiobook for Jade City. Now, um, I've said this before in my vlogs for moving, but listening to audiobooks that are dense is not a good idea while you're doing very strenuous things because your mind does not focus on them. But I am actually really liking Jade City and it's a lot better. I mean, again, who knows? But um, I, I DNF'd Golden Sun, which is the second book in the Red Rising trilogy because of that fact where I like could not get into it. But then in Jade City, I'm actually really liking it. It is unfortunate that I would have liked it even more if I hadn't read it in this time period, but I am really liking it. It's really good. Um, so I'm going to listen to that and I'm either going to pick up Jade War because I'm pretty far into it. I don't have, I think I have like three more hours to go. So I'm either going to pick up Jade War after this or hopefully find a romance. I have one to watch. I, might, I don't know. I might pick up a romance because that's easier. I don't know. I'm going to time lapse so that I can listen to my audiobook.
so this is all the stuff. It's like, was it backbreaking carrying it up? Yes. But this is really not that many books. Like, I feel like for a booktuber, I own nothing, honestly. But so what I've done is I've separated it into these are series. That's graphic novels, but it's a series of graphic novels. Anyway, um, all of these are series. And then this is like... That's actually, honestly, Pokemon cards. I probably shouldn't even put this on the shelf, but anyway. Um, Pokemon cards and, like, books and journals from when I was younger. And then this is all the plays that I have been to. My yearbooks, book journals, trinkets. Um, this is like, you've already seen this before, but documents, family stuff, photos, whatever. The small amount of DVDs that I own, uh, the puzzles that I own, board games, which I am planning on putting on the shelf because I need to fill up the space. This is the books that I have read in November that I need to do my monthly wrap up for. These are books that I have read recently that I am getting rid of. And then these three stacks are my TBR. This is presumably my next read. And then we go from like, I think that's like grayish, like white, yellow, pink, red, green, blue, purple, black, black, and then series. And then I put some, I just went and watered these actually, but I went and put these on here to see what it would look like. I mean, obviously some of them don't fit like <laughs> super well, but I don't know. So the plan I'm thinking, I'm, I'm just not realizing how much space this, oops, how much space this is and how there's going to probably be like two shelves that have nothing on it, which is fine. I just didn't consider that, but I think that I'm going to put the puzzles and board games and stuff on the bottom as well as probably my yearbooks because they're heavy I don't know um I might not I don't know I'm scared to put my yearbooks up here because they're so heavy and then I'm gonna put my TBR here series rainbow childhood favorite self-help and or something else I was gonna put there and then this is gonna be blank let's just give it a go and see what we can get done. Okay, pausing for a moment because I just finished Jade City. And I really liked it. I really did. Um, not really having any emotions about it, though. Which I haven't really been having any emotions about anything I've been reading. Like, in the entirety of November, I feel like. Like, I'm just not really caring about anything I'm reading. And, like, what's the deal? Like, I don't I need something fast and thrilling, I think. And I don't know what to do. I think, I don't know. I have the audiobook for One to Watch which is a romance and that might be easy and I could do that. I don't know. I'm just like not feeling it. I'm just like not feeling it. Like nothing is like grabbing my interest the way I want it to. Anyway, this is not a reading vlog. Hello. Um, I paused for a second. So this is taking me so long. I already knew it was going to, but good Lord. Uh, so what I've done right now is this doesn't make any sense but like I have my TBR books here and then like series TBR I think I'm gonna put them all together and move that plant down because it's blowing all in the wind so that's not great and then I have the books that I have read this month this one I think I'm gonna do rainbow and then this one series and then childhood books here and then I have all my playbills, my yearbooks, like journals and scrapbooks and stuff from when I was younger, some awards I got for like acting and thespians and stuff, my documents and whatnot, board games, puzzles, stuff like that. So that's what I'm thinking. These shelves are so big, like, good God. I don't know what to do with myself. There's too much room. It's like, there's too much possibility. Okay, anyway, I am gonna figure out what I'm gonna read and I am gonna get back to work.
dear God, I've been doing this for so long, for hours and hours and hours, and I just can't, I can't do it anymore. This is going to have to be enough. This is going to have to be good enough. I can't even like, it. I can't keep doing this. Okay. Um, I'm going insane. I'm going insane. Let me just show you. Let me just tell you what I ended up doing. Okay. I have the books that I've read this month. I have black books that are to be read. I have white to gray books that need to be read. I have series on this shelf, except for that. I Listen, it's a good book and it's there. <sighs> Just stop. Um, I have rainbow standalones or books that are going to be series, but don't have any more than one book out so far. And then I have like... Uh, kind of like child books slash nonfiction-ish kind of self-help books. S old series, childhood series-ish, you know? Board games and puzzles, documents and stuff, um, playbills, old journals where I talked about that, and comics. And then I ended up deciding I was going to get rid of Saga and the Wicked of the Divine because I love them, but I'm not going to continue on with them. <sighs> so I'm going to get rid of them. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. And then I have various knickknacks. I literally can't even talk about this anymore. I'm like, I'm so done. It is so late and I'm so tired. Okay. I'm just going to go to the outro because I like can't even talk to this camera anymore. Oh my God. I know. I feel like this video ended so quickly because I was so fed up. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I can't look at these shelves anymore. I'm unsatisfied. I don't like it. I don't know what I'm doing. But fear not grace comes to the rescue so in the next video in video number nine grace is going to come over and completely blow my mind with giving me an idea of something different that i can do that i actually end up loving so i was very shocked like you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to the next video because i was blown away by like how much i ended up liking what she suggested and it's something i've never done a way i've never organized my books before so if you want to stay tuned that video is going to be coming out very soon and if you want to follow me on goodreads or instagram they are also going to be linked down below as well as a myriad of other links like my Amazon wishlist and also my Libra wishlist because I do love an audiobook. So that would be amazing if you ever wanted to support this channel in any other way. Thank you so much for watching. If you've gotten this far into the video, you could leave. I want to say the books emoji, but then I feel like you should do that for the next one. Why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep waiting and not deciding what the emoji is going to be? Is that like my thing? I think like my thing is not planning the emoji and then thinking it's going to come to me when I say this. And it never, it never does. It, it, it never actually does. It doesn't. You know what? Let's leave. Um, you know, the emoji of the face with the two circular, like dazed eyes. That's just like, oh, that's me. Okay, please leave that emoji if you've gotten this far into the video and if you've gotten this far into the series because God bless you if you have because I know this is a lot of videos and I know it's a lot to take in, but I personally really like this kind of content. Like I want to see people's daily lives. I want to see how they're transforming their space, how they're decluttering, how they're organizing, how they're transforming. So if you too like these videos, there is going to be one or two more of them, possibly just one that's going to be coming out very soon. And I want to thank you for watching them so far. So I hope you have an amazing day. Day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, whatever it is you're having right now. And I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.